Greetings. Hello, this is Max, and uh, we have about 15 minutes to discuss the positive side of the Cabal's plans. Well, Cabal, what is Cabal? Secret can we actually, uh, can you actually define who that is? Uh, we also people that are just trying to do something good for the earth. We don't want to be labeled as something evil. We want to be labeled as humanitarian. We want to be labeled as those that are looking out for our own. Would you not protect your children from anything? We see these outside dangers. We see things coming in from the outside that are very dangerous. And so, of course, we want to protect the planet from them. That is what our concern is. That is what we want to do. We want to bring everybody into a thought, single thought process so that they can understand how we feel, how we are working, what we know, what we are doing. It is not a big conspiracy. They say that it is a major conspiracy. Yes, in some ways we do want to have our hand in certain things. Those certain things would be for positive development of the earth, for positive development of mankind. What else would we want to do? Would we want not to have that to happen? Of course not. Can you tell a bit more about the the plans for the um, unification of the economy? The unification of the economy would be so very positive for mankind in general. Why? Because right now, right now, everyone is on a different level of experience with the economy. There are certain countries that are wealthy and certain countries that are poor. With a unification of the uh, monetary unit, there will be much more equalization. The poor countries would be moved up and the rich countries would be actually stabilized. So you would not find as much poor and as much a delinquency as in uh, payments and things of this nature if we were to have a one a monetary unit. Also, we would be able to control it much easier and it would be much more uh, uh, evenly divided. So what help do you get from outside of the planet? Very little. We do have some help. We ask for some information. We ask for some help occasionally, not physically, but we do get some physical help, I will be honest. We have made some trades, but those are not yet to be to be shared with anyone. Right. So how about the use of artificial intelligence in the plants? <laughs> Every outside force that we see out there in the galaxy, if you will, uses artificial intelligence as uh, their main points, as their main uh, source. We would rather not do that, but we do have some uh, interest in it because, of course, we want to understand them better and we want to understand what uh, artificial intelligence is. And actually, uh, we want to make it more friendly. Um, now, how about use the use of synthetic telepathy? Synthetic telepathy is something that is not in use very often, but I have seen it in use and it has been able to help people, especially 
psych, psych patient, uh, psychological patients that have severe mental problems, uh, this has been able to pinpoint where the areas of the brain has misfired or has degenerated in some senses and able to put them back on track in some ways. Not always by use of chemicals, but by use of technology. How about um, uniting people into one mind and ascension? Ascension. This is something that we are not really understanding a lot of. We are always evolving. If evolution and ascension are the same thing, then we understand it. We understand it because evolution continues. Change always happens. It is for sure that there is no stopping change and evolution. So therefore, we are for that. We know that evolution and change must happen. And we are expecting it and our arms are open for it. Um, what about the one mind idea? uniting people into one hive and making creating a unified uh, mind for the uh, human collective. The unified mind is only about being on the same page, not about stopping individual thought processes. We just want people to know what's going on in the world all, all the time. This is something that we want them to be aware of. It is not about stopping their creative juices. It's not about stopping who they are as individuals. It's not about stopping their personal evolution. It is about informing them and giving them a like mind about who we all are together and working together as one. What's the future of education? The future of education is important. We must have everyone educated to the highest levels. This way we will find our greatest minds and find our greatest ways to create a better future for ourselves. Uh, what, what, what is the plan for ecology? The ecology the ecology is going to be always here in some ways. If something is out of hand, we will deal with it. That is another reason for bringing the greatest minds up to speed, is if there is a problem with the earth, we need to solve it. We are not going to change the nature of our planet. It will have its warmings and its coolings. But we, as the inhabitants of the planet, must know how to deal with it. We are not going to change it as a, uh, as a, a whole. We are going to develop solutions for Mother Earth as she changes naturally. What, I, what is your program for um, incorporating the planet to the galaxy and opening the um, Iron Curtain? The Iron Curtain? That's an interesting analogy. We do not see that, uh, this as an Iron Curtain. We see this as a protective area. We want to make sure that we are at some level able to greet and contact those that are there and welcome them with open arms when the time is right. We do not feel that time is right. We feel that we are not able to do what is necessary to bring the outer influences into our culture without a disaster at this time. All right, so the economic collapse, what do you think about its coming and what, what are your take on it? Economic collapse is imminent. And we know that. It's been imminent for a while. 
the implosion of the economy worldwide will happen. And when it does, we will be ready for it. Uh, can you provide the name, your name or a reference so we can reference uh, that conversation somehow with a unique identifier? Just call me AG. Thank you. Uh, so, um, now, what's the relationship of the uh, world government leadership with, uh, with, uh, with Lucifer? Lucifer does not exist in our opinion. So the world governments do. We are seeing that they are not understanding fully what is needed for the planet. There are those of us that have a greater plan for the way that the planet should be run. A greater understanding of political equality. A greater understanding of what is higher functioning for governments. Now, that does not mean they are all going to be the same. That does not mean that they are all going to have to bow to one thought process, but they will all have to agree to work together in some way and be of like mind in some way. But remember, we know there are different cultures, different rituals that different peoples have. And we are not here to take those away. We are not here to uh, exploit any particular thought process. We are here to bring about fair and equal communion and communication around the globe. So, uh you don't like the world, the word cabal or secret government or deep state. What, what, what uh, term would you use for your um, organization? Does there have to be a word? Of course, cannot of course. We just be, cannot we just be um, helpers of the, of the planet? We are just those that are here to uh, bring information, to bring equality and bring government into greater understanding without those outside coming in to take over. We know that they say they are, do not want to take over, but we do not see uh, all of them as being honest about that. So we are just here as a higher group, and you will know the, who we are eventually, because it will be necessary for us to be more familiar with you. But right now, there's too much division on your world for us to actually uh, communicate properly with everyone. So is it correct to say that there is like uh, your leadership, top leadership includes um, Zeta Reptilians and Zeta Greys? Zeta Reptilians and Zeta Greys. If there is such thing here, then they are disguised, for we do not see them or know them. Uh, any other non-humans? There are a couple that were grandfathered in at the time of separation, but they were friendly and kind, and they are only here for positive reasons. So the rest of the leadership is uh, regular humans, uh, genetically human? Mostly just human. Of course, humanity is full of many other species when you go into the distant past. So we are a great blend and a great homogenized uh, group of people. And you any people from uh, Orion, Nordics, Pleiadians, any of those? They were all here long ago and all left their in 
their DNA here and we have all blended in with them. Uh, how coherent is your organization? Is there a strict uh, agreement and discipline or is it like uh, a, f uh, a group of factions which fight with each other? We are in agreement. Thank you. My time is over, but it was nice to meet with you, AG. Uh, and uh, I would invite you to speak again to give the updates. Very well. Have a good day. You too. Thank you very much. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. That last being was um, not all positive. Uh huh. But it's nice to get uh, a perspective. What did you think of him? Uh, it's nice to get a perspective. Uh, I would like to be unbiased and have the uh, ability to get answers from the other side as well. It's it's very helpful. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so I'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right, two weeks. All right. Good day. Bye-bye.